If you are a medium to large company and don't have a brand guide, you're definitely not professional and you should be looking at this video right now. I'm going to show you right now a deal that is super affordable to make your brand a guide and it's not a lifetime deal. So you got to check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Baseline and it's going to help you build a brand guide. Best of all, it's super easy to do and it's on a lifetime deal. So as I mentioned before, if you're a medium to large company, you definitely need to check this out and build your brand guide right now. Now, currently there's a lifetime deal that will be gone soon. So I will recommend that you grab it right now and test it out. And there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. But I'm pretty sure you're going to like it, especially if you have a need for it. Okay. And you're going to avoid that month to month payment with this lifetime deal. So link in the description. Okay. So baseline, how does it work? And in this case, I'm going to build a brand new brand with you guys here. Okay. So let's go into new brand. I'm going to name my brand and I'm going to say SAS test. And that's going to be the main domain here. Okay. And in this case, if I have a logo, I'll, I will be uploading the logo. In this case, I'll just say create a logo. And I'm going to select the type of colors that I want for my logo. So in this case, I'm going to select something uh, really rainbowy, flashy. Let's go ahead and select this one. And it's going to give me ideas for the logo. So just basic logos here. But remember, it's generating the logo for me. So I'm going to select something that looks kind of modern. I'll just use this one, which looks clean and simple. Okay. So now I have my primary colors. Remember, the idea of the brand guide is that your customers, your followers, your influencers who are going to work with you need to follow these specific colors. Don't make it difficult for them. I mean, I work with a lot of brands and they don't, they don't have a brand guide and it makes it difficult for me. I don't know the exact palette color. I don't know what is allowed and not allowed. So those are things that, I mean, you, you shouldn't have that open to anyone. I mean, there should be a brand guide like there is right here. So color palette, I'm going to leave it as it is. I can go ahead and change it. I can modify it. I can select a different hex color in case I want to change that and I can add more colors. Okay. So I'm going to say that this is fine. Remember, this is just a test. And then I have the option to also provide gradients. Again, these are all. So the influencers, people who are creating content, follow this guide or even the team members that are on the creative team. Okay. So I'll go ahead and select this one, this one. Here we go. And I'm going to confirm the gradients. Then I have the brand fonts. Now these are pre-selected fonts, but I would recommend that you use custom fonts and upload the font. If it's not available here, there's also the type kit option. Best option is at your custom font. So they know exactly what font to use. So that means that if they're going to create a video thumbnail or an ad for an advertisement for a, a billboard, they know exactly what font to use. They're not going to imagine it. They're not going to ask. They're not going to send an email. It's going to be right here in the brand guide. So in this case, I'll just select random here. I'm not going to upload a font for now. And then we have the type scale. So the base size the 16. I can up, up or lower the base size the scale ratio, and you can see here's the example. Okay, so I'm good with the type scale. All right, and here we got the first demo of how this is going to look. All right, so we got in this case, that's the logo. I didn't upload anything, but it gives me the logo on how it's going to look with the main color with the black background. I have to use it like this, the primary color, the primary logo, the safe zone. And everything is just available here. Again, you can edit this if you need the prohibited use of the logo. You can't change the degrees. You can't skew or warp the logo. Don't change or alter the colors. Don't apply filters, uh, similar background colors because it's going to just lose the logo. You're not going to be able to view it. And you have all these rules in the guide. So we got the colors, the gradients, the fonts, the typography scale, and all that was created right now really easily. So let's come back over here. And now we have other options that we can use here on baseline assets. So we can upload here uh, photos that they need, logos, images, icons, etc., that are going to be used, or maybe promotions that are pre built. You can have them right here by uploading them and creating folders. Depending on the plan that you're on, you're going to have the gigabytes right there. Okay. So all those available options. Now there's also the templates. You can create templates with the option of baseline. So they have a basic editor that lets you create templates that can be really easy to modify. So for example, I don't know this one, and I can just go ahead and remove the elements that I don't need, add my own. There's elements, 
there's photos, there's assets, templates, settings for this. And once you're good to go, you can go ahead and download this or save it as one of the templates. And you can build these so it makes it easier for people to start advertising your products because you're gonna have ready made templates for them right here. And there's also the team members. Team members are crucial, especially if you have a creative team, if you wanna have them edit this for you, maybe a virtual assistant, etc. You have these available options. And you also have these add tone of voice, which are details that help you. For example, maybe we wanna do serious. This is formal, so I can set that there. Then the excitement, it should be factual since this could be a serious company. Humor tone, conservative, formality of tone, authentic, regard of tone. I'll say, here we go, outrageous, authoritative. Um, excitement tones, uh, pragmatic. And here we go, let's go ahead and save this. And that will be added to this right here. So it should be added in one of these sections, so tone of voice. So the more you add to this, the more value you're gonna to provide to the people who are viewing the brand guide, okay? You can add photography, so display right here with a gallery. In this case, I haven't added anything. And you can add core values. So here we go, you can go through the process for the core values. In this case, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Here we go, let's go ahead and set this. And here we go, that is now added to the brand guide, okay? And once you're good to go, there's the sharing time, okay? We can go ahead and share a link, we can put it on a website, and let me show you where that is. So let's go back over here. Let's go and view the brand guide. We go ahead and click on the share option, and you have the link to send it out via link. You can edit the link from here. You can also embed this on a website, so it could be a branded domain, and just embed it over there and share that link. You can export brand guide into a PDF. So in case you want to send out via email or upload it to a website or whatever you want to do with the PDF, you can go ahead and do so there. Uh, anyone can view it with a public URL. You can password protect this and you can hide powered by baseline logo depending on the plan that you are on. So it's just super easy to have a brand guide and this is just unnecessary as a professional company not to have this. You definitely need it, especially when you're hiring creative teams, influencers, creating content, you want to have this guide so they don't go the route that you are not allowing them. So definitely check it out. Don't forget there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that is a wrap.